say about Wallen as a prospect. <clears throat> he is big. He is pretty rangy. He can't fall off his back foot. He did it against when he fought Pedora. But again, that's Pedora. This is Anthony Joshua. And he was just having his way in that fight. <clears throat> and I think he just chose to fight off his back foot because he was comfortable. But really nothing on his punches. He's a light puncher when he goes back. I think he's at his best when he's coming forward, actually. And that's probably the wrong thing he wants to do, even in sparring with Anthony Joshua. Here's my question to you, sir. <clears throat> my question to you would be this, then. How good of a counterpuncher is Adewale in your opinion? He's not a good one at all. Not from what I've seen as far as am. He likes to get somebody, off first. Yeah, you need somebody that can counterpunch. Yep. From, from a mid-range to an outside distance like Martin does. Yep. Wallen that's likes like, to get off first. And Wallen is... <clears throat> he likes to get off first and use the high guard. Like, he'll get off first and then put the guard up, but he'll stay there. You know what I mean? So he's just too stationary. But Martin's not a huge mover, though, but he moves a lot better than uh, Wallen. Yeah, but he glides with his jab to get out. But at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, you know, hopefully Anthony Joshua got more than just an out of Wallen because if that's all he got for sparring, and I really like Martin's chances, but do we know who um, Chris, um, not Chris, but Charles Martin is sparring with? I don't know yet. I haven't heard anything about his sparring partners, who he's going to use for this camp. Who will be some good um, guys to spar with for Martin to get prepared for someone like a Josh, in your opinion? Um, some of these guys got fights, but I was going to say like a Gerald Washington. Even though Washington yeah. did that shit with Mansoor fighting off his back foot when I thought he should have stood there and aired it out a little bit. But uh, Joseph Parker would be a good one. <laughs> you know Ooh. what I mean? Um, Trevor Bryan would be, be a good Joseph, one. That would make Joseph Parker more confident to want to fight him. Is you a Gano would be another good one. Um, Because those guys have come with the fight. Now, if he wants somebody that he's just going to beat on, then he can just get any average Joe. But somebody that's just as hungry as he is and it will use this well, opportunity. Are they, are they stiff, though? Are they stiff like Joshua? Are they stiff? Are the guys stiff like him? A lot of these guys, in my opinion, are stiff as hell, man. A lot of these heavyweights I see pretty much don't move their head all that great. So, to me, Joshua is just as stiff as a lot of these other guys that I see. Lucas Brown is a guy that doesn't move his head all that well. Um, yeah, but Brown is not as uh, fluid with his offense as Joshua is. Yeah, I think Brown could be a plotter at times, too. Yeah. That's you know. why I got him over Chagiev. But, you know, a lot of people got Chagiev on my side of the channel. But a lot of people on your side of the channel got Brown. So. Not actually, not, not actually, yeah, people are disagreeing because I got uh, Chagayev in that fight, but some people think that uh, it's Brown's time now, and I'm thinking like, well, shit, he's getting pretty old, you know, people think Brown is like this this young hot shot, and actually, he's, he's not. not, he's not, so I think he's going to be a Chagayev plotter. If goes to his body, then Chagayev will win. That, and if he makes a miss, which I think he will make Brown miss, he's going to start tiring him out. And I think those heavy shots by Brown is going to tire him out. And then they're going to go into the later rounds. And he's going to get out boxing out quick. That's just my opinion on that. Browning, for him to win, he got to feel, he got to get some shots in early to feel, you know, get a rhythm of hitting Chagiev. Once he gets a rhythm of hitting Chagiev, then he'll start plotting his next set of shots to try to get rid of him. Hmm. Because he's going to need to since he's going to fight all the way over there for him to win that title. That regular WBA title. 